Hey guys, so today we're gonna do another recipe. So we're gonna make my dad's favorite and also one of my favorite pasta, seafood dishes, which is vongole pasta. Tapos gagawin, gagawa rin tayo ng oyster rockefeller. So oyster rockefeller guys is an oyster dish na I remember nung, I think I was in grade school or high school, ang favorite namin punta na restaurant that serves oyster rockefeller ang Via Mare. So, there used to be a Via Mare uh, near our area, pero wala na siya. Uh, I think the next Via, Via Mare na alam ko is already in Green Belt. So, so may Green Belt pa. So, medyo malayo na. So, they used to have really good oyster rockefeller tsaka yung adobo flakes. Famous na famous sila for those two dishes. Tapos guys, we're gonna also make quick quick. So, bumili ako ng quail eggs sa uh, supermarket. I don't know. Fanny, meron ba tayo food coloring? Kung meron tayo food coloring. Pero you don't need food coloring, guys. Kasi ano lang yan eh. For, for ano lang yan. For presentation. Pero if you don't have, it's fine. Pareho lang naman yung lasa. So, quail egg. Tapos ano yan, fan? Water, cornstarch? Water, cornstarch. Baking powder. Tapos konti asin. Yun. So, and then we're gonna deep fry it. Tapos yun, guys. That's our three dishes for dinner. So, oyster rockefeller. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it super simple. Uh, usually, yung sauce, guys, is garlic, onions, uh, cream, or heavy cream. Tapos, uh, they put spinach. But, because we don't have spinach, we're gonna use kangkong. So, very, very similar and very easy to make. I'm gonna show you guys. Tapos, yung vongre pasta, very simple. That's just garlic, white wine, olive oil. If you like chili flakes, you could add chili flakes. Parang uh, aglio olio. Parang ganun. Or, yeah, you just use salt and pepper. And spaghetti noodles. Or even linguine uh, noodles. Tapos your clams. So, Jolan sent me the oysters that came from Cavite and also the clams. So, yung clams, yung Manila clams. So, we're gonna enjoy that today. Sabi ko, because she sent it today, sabi ko, I'm gonna cook it already kasi seafood siya. So, habang fresh pa siya, uh, we can cook it already. Tapos yun guys, yung quail eggs sa supermarket ko yung binili. So I'm gonna show you guys the dish. Very simple, easy to make. You can do it at home. And it will only take you literally mga 10 minutes per dish. So let's go! So guys, so we put olive oil, finally cut this really thinly sliced, uh, this is perfect for vongole, thinly sliced garlic. So we're gonna golden brown lang natin to. So golden brown natin, and here's our clams na Jordan bought for us and sent it to us kanina umaga. So yan ang gagamitin natin for our vongole pasta. Tapos guys, dito, yung shredded garlic and yung shredded white onion sa atin, that's for the sauce. For the oyster rockefeller. So guys, I'll show you. Ito yung oysters. So iba-ibang sizes. Meron maliliit. Meron medium. Meron malalaki. Pero, ang importante guys, it's, it's fresh. Pero mahirap uh, buksan to. Kailangan mo kasi guys, pag oyster, they call it yung oyster knife or chucking knife. Wala tayo nun. Yan ang talaga for opening the shell ng oyster. Pero look how fresh it is. So, some people, kinakain nito raw. So, pagbukas nila, lalagyan na ng kalamansi or lemon juice tapos hot sauce. Yun na. Then, they'll eat it. But, ako, perf preferably gusto ko, it's either deep fried siya or half cooked. Meaning, baked. Bibake natin to mamaya. So, yun no? Very fresh. It looks like marami, pero actually, hindi to marami kasi... Ibang tao nga, kaya nila ubusin lahat to guys in one sitting. Pero, uh, I heard that if you're gonna eat oysters, dapat you have to eat before you eat oysters. Kasi, I don't know, masakit daw sa chan yan pag hindi kayo kumain bago magkumain ng fresh na oysters or fresh na tahong. So, yun guys. Ganto. So, we're gonna cook it with the shell guys. So, for presentation. Tapos guys, normally sa restaurant, nalala ko sa Via Mare, nilalagay nila sa uh, rock salt, bed of rock salt. Uh, kung may rock salt tayo, lagyan natin. Tapos, 
I have the plates for this. Nandito siya. Ay, nandito siya. We'll use this. Yan, ito guys. We'll use this for our oysters later. Or this one. Bahala na. Or this. Yan. That came from Baguio. Yan guys, so we're gonna put our Manila clam. Okay. Increase natin yung heat. Tapos, yung white wine natin. So, we're gonna add white wine. Sigur, sigur. I'll tell you. Okay. So, we'll increase the heat, guys. Yung fire natin. Then, cover natin. So, let it steam until the all the clams open up. So, makita rin natin kung hindi nagbukas yung clams. That means dead clams na siya, hindi siya fresh. So, makikita natin. But I, it looks all fresh naman, so wala tayong problema. So, you guys, steam lang natin. Then, wait maybe around a couple of minutes. Then, buksan na natin. Let's see if all the clams open up. And guys, after a few, actually, parang one minute lang. Ayun na. Oh, nagbukas na yung iba. And all the clam juices. Yan, yeah, nandyan. So let's wait for, I think, yeah, most of it's open now. So super fast. Then we could season this na guys. Salt, a little pepper. And I mean, all that sauce. Important yun sa pasta natin. So yun guys, later, we're gonna add our spaghetti noodles. And add natin ng konti pang olive oil. And we're gonna put salt and pepper. Yeah. So ito naman guys, yung ating quail egg. So in one tray, 24 pieces. So we're gonna boil it, and after that, tanggalin yung shell, then deep fry na. May food coloring kaya. Mm -hmm. Naran. Yeah. So okay, guys, we're gonna make our sauce for our oyster aqua feather. So kanting olive oil lang. Tapos, pani is the one shredded niya to, kasi gusto ko parang ano na siya. Para siyang almost paste, like yung onions and yung garlic. So we're gonna put the onions and garlic. And kasi soft siya, it will go on top of the fresh oysters. Tapos, to finish natin yan with our kangkong leaves. Walang tong stem, no? Pan? Walang stem, just leaves lang. Traditionally, they use spinach, but we're gonna use kangkong leaves. Kasi marami tayong kangkong. Ay, sayang ito. Meron pang white onions. Yan, guys. Ayan. You don't need to cook it too long. Yan, o. Oh. Actually, yun na. Tapos, we have put a little, konting-konti, guys, white wine. So, we're using a lot of white wine in our seafood dishes. So, pag mainit, you could Leave it on the side. Ponting pepper. Salt. Then, yung cream natin. Tignan mo. So, may pagka-cold and brown na yung garlic onion. So, white wine, olive oil, garlic and onion. Then, we're gonna add our cream. So, away from the heat, add na natin yung cream natin. Okay. Go back on top of the stove. Incorporate natin yung garlic. Yan guys. Very simple lang yung sauce. Let's add more cream. Okay. Kasi medyo marami tayong oysters. Then, we'll add more pepper. And a little salt. Then, yung ating kampong dito. So, besides yung flavor niya, of course, yung color rin. So, a lot of kampong dito. Kasi masarap naman yan. And so, we mix it all together. So, that's guys, is the sauce for oyster rockefeller. So, yung sauce natin, lalagyan natin ng parmesan cheese on top. Siguro we'll also use a little quick melt cheese. And also, yung pa ba? Yung pa natin. Breadcrumbs. Kung meron tayong breadcrumbs, lalagyan natin. 
So guys, that's the sauce. Okay. Nandito na siya. So before we put it in the oven, tagay na natin yung ating sauce. So guys, we're gonna use a teaspoon. So, enough sauce guys. Yeah. So each, each meron yan. So even yung maliliit dito guys, meron din maliliit eh. Hopefully, kasi yung sauce. breadcrumbs now. Or actually, mali ako. Dapat, cheese muna. Last yung breadcrumbs. So, we're gonna put our melted cheese. Then, our breadcrumbs. Yun yung last. So, para may kwanting, not only color, but texture na rin. Okay. There you go. Then, Olive oil. Ay, in it. So olive oil. Tapos last, some pepper. Go straight to the oven. Para preheat na. So, the heat guys dito electric so sa top siya. So perfect siya for heating the cheese. And after siguro a few minutes, let's check it out. So guys, check natin kung yung noodles is okay na. Okay, al dente na siya. Go straight to the sauce natin. So, basically guys, ito yung sauce ng clams. Yung juice ng clams. So, you don't even need to create a sauce. Ayan, so, nalagyan natin yung ating noodles. Tapos, yung natirang parmesan, lagi na natin. We'll add more. Olive oil. Some pepper. Little salt. Ito pa, ayun. 
some a little bit more parmesan cheese okay then mix them up. so mix that with all that sauce in shells kailangan important yan yung masarap guys na vongole sa Mary Grease masarap ang vongole talaga nila really known for uh, vongole pasta so super simple oh. and then this so cook it a little bit with the sauce let the the clam juice absorb you know the noodles absorb the clam juice Hey okay guys, this is our oyster Rockefeller. So, yung sauce natin na ginawa natin kanina. So, instead of spinach, we use kangkong. Ayan, so yung kangkong niya guys. Oh. Looks so good, smells so good. Tapos ito yung binili natin sa Baguio. Na one of those, uh, well actually it's a chopping board. But I'm gonna serve it as, you know, for presentation purposes also. Ayan guys, oh. fresh from Cavite. Ayan guys, so look at that. Ito yung masarap guys. Medyo burnt yung cheese. That's the best one. It creates like a crispy shell. As you could see the juice from the oysters. Perfect dish. Okay. So guys, this is our vongole pasta. So yeah, to finish, we put some thyme stems and parmesan cheese. You could really smell yung white wine so this is my dad's and guys the manila clams spaghetti noodles very very simple dish pero masarap also this is our favorite bread guys sobrang sarap jolan gave this also she bought it in a nearby uh panindiria sa kanila so this is called bonete super sarap i don't know how to make this i, I think it's a cross between pandesal and Kind of looks like uh, monai, tama ba yun? But look at it, it's so... You don't even need butter guys. Because I think they put butter ready, parang butter roll na siya. Tapos it's nice and crispy on the outside and very soft in the inside. And may quanting sweetness. So perfect siya. To complement our pasta. Yeah. And guys, so that's dinner. Ah. Ayan, ayan nagpipicture siya. Pag-post mo yan ha? <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys, so yung pawis na kami pareho. Pag, when you're cooking talaga, hindi mo may iwasan mapawis talaga. Pero sobrang sarap. May hindi rin uh, guys. Ang maganda, we're eating more seafood now. Parang this week, tuna, kumain kami. Na yun, oysters, tapos clams. Tapos nag-shrimp kami. Yan guys. So. Ayan na. Sarap. Yan. So, but alam ko, oysters high in cholesterol. So, Konti konti lang, not too much of it, diba? Yeah. Yan. So yun guys, vongole, yan, and we got our oyster Rockefeller. So I hope you like the dish, very very simple, make it at home, make it for your friends and your family, especially na yun ECQ, so wala tayong ginagawa sa bahay, might as well cook, diba? And uh, cook very very simple dishes guys, but it won't take a lot of time and not a lot of ingredients. Tapos yung mga ingredients na wala ka, like, let's say salmon, wala akong spinach, so we use kangkong kasi that's what we have. So yun guys, till the next vlog and the next recipe, ingat kayo palagi, take care, God bless.